Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so before we continue on to pick up the motor, hopefully in Cancun, we just stopped in for breakfast in Puerto Morelos. Found a great little spot here, so it's really good. So. Yeah. It's a great breakfast spot, guys. We we'll take them on for this. Have a little something to eat. Say hi to the cat. Then we'll get going. Off to Cancun, baby. Woo! Motor time. And we're out of here. Cancun bound. Servimar Marine in Cancun. Uh, pretty much full service marina that's not on the water. They're gonna put the oil in and get the motor ready and they've asked Don if he wanted to see them put it in to make sure it's done properly and we obviously agreed. So just waiting for that. And it should be ready to go. So hold your hand on it somewhere. On it? Yeah. yeah. Pull this until it engages. So don't. And then. Yeah. So. Okay. Yep. And see if you can pull that one, baby. Hey, <laughs> you're on your own now. There she goes. Yeah. I'm being gentle. That's okay. Gentle with the Yay! So what do we got? A new baby. getting tucked in. <laughs> well, not so much worried about the bottom, but I'd like to keep at least a little bit shiny. <laughs> and good morning, everybody. Sorry about the wind. Um, I've been trying to get this microphone and everything else to work for you guys, and I'm just not having any luck. So, um, basically, we've, uh, we're getting out with the old and in with the new. So there's the old uh, Evinrude 9.9 .9 and a monstrous tank, which is fantastic in one, some ways. <laughs> it's what is it? It's 55 liters, just shy of 55 liters. So yeah, we uh, that one broke down. There was a piece on the carburetor that was cracked. Unfortunately, being in Mexico, you can't really do a whole bunch about it, just because the age of it. You can't get a new part unless you want to spend $250 US on that $25 plastic car uh, top mount plate. So we took a drive down to Cancun, made many, many phone calls, and ended up with, we got ourselves a brand new 9.9 .9 Mercury 2023 two-stroke motor. I figured today I was going to take you guys out for a little tour, show you the 9.9, uh, it's it's absolutely fantastic. I never brought it over half throttle and it's up on plane due to the weight. I think it weighs 26 kilograms, somewhere in that. And we'll take you out and show you the coastline. We're right in the middle of uh, Puerto Morelos so we can show you all the beaches. So I won't do any uh, funny stuff here. I'll actually do the first pull on it um, and show you how this thing is. So. Basically, here we go. I'll show you. I'll give you a little rundown of it. Uh, I did just drop you. 
anyway, that's it. That's it running right there. And it runs great. Uh, it was second pull. And uh, let's go to the world. We'll just idle out here. again I can't get that micro uh, that microphone to work uh, we bought three different ones now and I don't know if it's compatible with my iPhone uh, for videotaping we're using the old iPhone 10s there's nothing I can do for it and here we go guys so it is working like a charm still on break-in period and uh, we'll get it up on plane we'll show you all that just leaving the rock wall, just leaving the retaining wall. And it is stunning out here, guys. Absolutely stunning. And for everybody that's asking, can you actually use your dinghy out there? Is it too rough? Well, this is a very calm day. And uh, basically, it is what it is. We're still protected somewhat right at the moment. But uh, you see what you get here. And you got nothing but beaches. And beautiful, beautiful, clean water. All right, so she's warmed up good enough. Now I'm gonna bring you up on plane and I'm gonna show you what very little throttle I gotta to use to get this thing going. Um, it is roughly the nine foot uh, Achilles D, uh, hard floor, fiberglass bottom. And uh, I'll show you. Half throttle. That's back to a quarter throttle. But as you see, it's requiring no fuel whatsoever. as well guys I'm really sorry for the wind noise um, yeah, half the noise is the other one twice the torque got a lot more speed and uh, yeah it's, it's, uh, it's working out great initial rundown of the new 9.9 .9, and uh, we'll keep you posted on seeing how everything's working and going morning guys sorry for the <laughs> sorry for the hair but 
we've uh it's hot it's hot today so i just want to show you guys i actually took the uh that hydrofoil off the other motor and uh, i placed it on the new motor i uh we did try it out or i did try it out by myself it helps it's huge um i had to modify it a little bit so on the old motor basically what i did is I, I, I trimmed it up here a little bit, so I wanted it narrower, uh, closer, closer down here. So it was spread out a little too far. I just trimmed it in, brought it in a little bit, and uh, fastened it in. I just figured it'd be a little stronger that way. So uh, it helps immensely. I have not tried it yet with uh, with me and Charlie on the boat, but we're gonna try that right now. We'll go for a little swim and a snorkel. <laughs> Hot. It's our first time actually using the paddle board. Yeah. Sitting on the boat. So. Two months. Two months. Yeah. Dingy's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to hang on to it? Got enough gas? Yeah. Certainly hope so. It's a long paddle back, but at least you can, you know, pull me back with your paddle board. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the hydrofoil works a lot better, uh, especially with two people on. Um, the water's not coming right through in the back of the transom. The paddleboard's great. Um, seems to be working as well as it should. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to check out Puerto Morales via the dinghy. And uh, we'll bring you guys along for the, the half hour tour.